Skip Bronson, the CEO and chairman of the Bronson Companies and author of War at the Shore. Skip, welcome. You've spoken to Donald since he was elected. What do you say? Well, I spoke to him the day of the election, and I spoke to him that, that evening as well. I spoke to him before the networks had called uh, him as, as the winner, but it was obvious at that point that he had won. You know, he, clearly he was happy, but there was no gloating, and I think that's an important point. He didn't say, yeah, we did it. He, his whole point was, great, now we, now we have to move on. And, and I think uh, everyone has to sort of catch their breath here and, and watch what happens. And what does we've got to move on mean? This has been an aggressive, aggressive election. Donald Trump alienated a lot of people in power. In terms of a transition team, who's he going to be surrounding himself with? Well, I think it's, it's too early to say. It's only been, what, 36 hours since he had his, his acceptance speech. I know that infrastructure is very important to him. We've heard him talk about that. This will, will probably be uh, the new deal meets the art of the deal. He'll have his own way of doing things, but I, he gets things done. And his friends in New York, other developers uh, that know him well, Steve Roth of Ornato, Richard LaFrac, they, they always say Donald gets things done. He does things. Maybe he doesn't do them the way that you'd like to see them done in terms of some of the rhetoric that's out there, but he's a doer, and he will get things done. There's no question about okay, it. Okay, well, you know him. Help me understand what that way is, because there are millions of Americans that are worried. They're worried about his, in their words, bully ways, his erratic behavior. Well, you know, he's old school in many ways, and uh, as you mentioned earlier, I've spoken to him on average let's, once a week for the last 16 years. I've probably played 50 rounds of golf with him. He has a, a unique way of doing things. He's, he's old school. He doesn't what does use that mean? email. Well, it means he doesn't use email, for example. For years, I've heard him say, I've seen businesses destroyed. I've seen marriages wrecked over email. You can never email Donald, and he will never email you. He, you know, you get these notes from him, handwritten notes with the famous uh, black Sharpie pen that he uses. If he sees an article, if you're in, in a, read something about you, he'll, he'll cut it out and send it to you. But he, he's, a, he's really sort of a, an old-school soul in terms of how he does things. But I know this. He has had a lot of enemies in his past, but he's also he's made up with a lot of them. And I know that people that have uh, really disliked him have, have sort of reattached with him over the years. And I think the same thing will happen now. I think that people, if they reach out to him, he doesn't hold grudges. He's not a grudge holder. He's very different in that regard. He's not a grudge holder? I mean, one could argue that he was the birther in chief against President Obama. Well, I think that, you know, I saw something online this morning when I got up and, and it was someone had posted America's worst day, 9-11. America's second worst day, 11-9. We don't know that. No one knows that yet. So I think uh, we shouldn't jump to conclusions. How important are Donald Trump's businesses to him? When Donald Trump makes the argument, if elected president, my businesses are peanuts, his lawyer said he doesn't care about his businesses anymore. I don't know him in the way that you do, but the way, from, from, from my perspective, it seems like everything Donald touches has the Trump, Trump, Trump name on it. He's really going to distance himself? Well, I don't know that he doesn't care about his businesses, but I, I do know that he has extraordinarily qualified children. We've seen that. He has extraordinarily qualified executives in his organization. But Skip, and, hold on. Mm -hmm. His children and his executives clearly have the same motivations Donald does in terms of the profitability of their businesses. So in terms of if he were president of the United States, and, I, and as an, the American people need him to put the country before himself, how is having your kids and the people who work and get paid for you doing that? Again, it's priorities. There is no question. Everyone that knows him and knows him well, he has said the same thing, and that is my priority now is going to be to fix America. So that's why I said I wouldn't suggest that he doesn't care about his businesses, but he's had long conversations with the people in his organization. He's anticipated this. And right now he wants to fix America. From day one, that has been sort of the tenet of his campaign. The man wants to fix America. So that right, is Skip, his priority. We got to leave it there, but I have to ask you, do you believe Donald Trump can put the country ahead of his own interests? I actually do. I right. actually do. All right, well, you do know him for the last 20 years. All right, Skip Bronson, thanks for joining me.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.